with a, another edition of Let's Drink with Matt. Now I think there's only going to be about two more episodes coming up in this specific season, which is technically season three, and after that there's going to be some changes um, going on. Two not including this, so this will be, I guess, three more. So to kick off the final three episodes of this season, I'm going to do something that's old and new uh, at the same time. I'm going to be doing a Sapporo beer. Now I like this, um, not a big fan of the beer itself, but I love the can because it's a huge 22 ounce bomber can that's old silver, old you know, tin or whatever it is like that. And it just looks awesome. Now Sapporo is the uh, oldest, uh, Japan's oldest brand, not necessarily the oldest brewery, but at least their oldest brand in Japan. So without further ado, let's get it started. Let's get the... God, I haven't drunk beer out of a can in forever so and in honor of baseball season I'm going to drink out of the uh, 16 ounce Florida Marlins who lost yesterday but it's okay 161 games left so um, and don't mind it's Budweiser inside so so let's pour this so I'm gonna probably have to do this in two uh, glasses so we're gonna see how fast I can drink two glasses of Sapporo but I'm gonna try and fill this up as much as I can now Nice head. Well, nice head. That's what she said. <laughs> About inch, inch and a half. You no, know, not really a lot of lasting on it or anything like that. You no, know, Sapporo is kind of like I like to refer to Sapporo as Japan's Budweiser because that's pretty much what it is. It's just a Budweiser from Japan. And in fact, I think Sapporo or uh, one of those Japanese breweries even wanted to buy Budweiser or was planning on buying it or maybe even does own it now. But Absolutely see-through, a lot of carbonation, a lot of bubbles. You can get really close on there and see all those bubbles. So, without further ado. Just like Budweiser. The only thing that, that separates is that I like this from Budweiser better is that there's a slight cereal sweetness to it on the back end that's very refreshing and it's kind of very, it's reminiscent of a Corona also so I would I would almost compare Sapporo to like a combination of a lot of beers that you drink from Japan it's basically like Japan took a lot of the brewing tactics of American beer and stuff like that I said okay let's do this and we'll you know do our little twist on it and everything so it's refreshing. I mean, I like it. But there just simply aren't bells and whistles. This is not a craft beer. This is probably one of the first beers I've done in a while that hasn't been a craft beer. But sometimes you just want to sit back and put your put your feet up. I have no, I don't have an autumn in here, so I'm obviously not putting my feet up anywhere. But and just sit back and relax and have a nice beer. Now, when I'm drinking this, probably gonna have a lot of burps later on, so you may even get some burps on camera. So, I'll have to see what happens. Hmm. <laughs> so, if everybody enjoyed uh, the NCAA tournament, Duke won, but not really much you can do about that, I guess. I just don't like Duke. There's just something about him. It bugs and irks the living shit out of me when I see Duke win. Butler played, played a good game. I wish there was more I could say about this beer. I wish I could say it's like <laughs> infused with sake or dry plum wine or something like that or some type of cherry blossom infusion, but it's not, it's not. Now on for the rest of this. Again, it's, it's easy drinking. This is probably somewhere in the range of maybe four and a half percent alcohol by volume, if that. I don't even know if it's that much. I'm thinking about this can. This can is like, Indestructible. This is like the indestructible can. You cannot crush. And look, you'll see me trying to squeeze. You'll might see me shaking a little bit. 
you cannot destroy this can. This is well-made Japanese, and we love Japanese stuff in America. So, and oh, this is interesting here. Brewed and canned by Sapporo Brewing Company, Galuth, Ontario, Canada. So, as, as much as Japan it is, it's imported to New York, and it's brewed and canned in Canada. They are frauds. Sapporo are frauds. But they make a nice light beer. Can't really complain too much about it. As you can see, I'm doing this review in my, I guess you can call it my study, <laughs> a little bit. We did a little rearranging, so we got a desk over here now, and um, rearranged things, me and my girlfriend, so it's a little more habitable. Before, it was just a bunch of boxes sitting around with a TV <clears throat> and a chair. So, hmm, there's one right there. I'm not really trying to chug this too much, but I'm trying to make the, I don't want to make any cuts or anything, because lately in my videos I've been doing a lot of cuts, everything like that, it's been kind of like, you know, get me down a little bit, I want to, I haven't done like a whole, just one whole beer review in a while, so, and trying to keep it up to the 10 minute YouTube limit too, so, doing what I can. Well, as much as people, you know, no chat, I know, no, you don't like to see me chug or anything like that, but just to get this kind of over with, you know, it's uh, I'm chugging time. Well, that wasn't very, that was kind of weak actually, so. I got a air bubbles, too many of them. Alright, kind of man up here. Ugh, what's wrong with me? Alright. Well. <coughs> Whew. That's what I needed right there. Well, yeah, look at the lacing. It's a fresh beer, everybody. A lot of lacing in there. But overall. Sapporo imported premium beer, Japan's oldest brand. I give it, since this isn't a craft beer and I'm not judging it across other craft beers, if I just have to judge this over just regular beers, they can buy a six pack of for about seven bucks, eight bucks, maybe even nine bucks, very cheap, very affordable, have it a party, just to drink and have a good time. <laughs> this gets a thumbs up, mainly for its high drinkability. Mainly for, it doesn't have bells and whistles, you can sip it, you can you can enjoy you can enjoy several, you know. You don't have to drink a bomber like I did in about seven eight minutes or anything like that. You can sip it, enjoy it, have a good time. And I love the can. The can is the selling point. This made me buy the beer. I think this was uh, for a bomber. It's not a regular bottle. It's a, it's a can. The bomber. I say this was about uh, four bucks. Four bucks for twenty two ounces of decent, good tasting beer. So that's it for. Sapporo and Port of Beer. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and look out for more reviews. The season's coming to a close, so keep watching. Subscribe, tell a friend, do all that good stuff. And I will see everybody later, so see ya.